I just make sure that I'm not blocking Chloe. Yeah, wow, technology thing. Yes, guys, we're live. Chaz, do you mind getting up on your phone just to make sure? Yeah, no worries. Sort of like try and get the delay. Guys, like, this is unbelievable how this is working. I'm gonna go there. There? Yeah, there is good. Guys, we've got Chloe on Zoom. Hello, Chloe, how are you? Hey, boys. Hey, what's going on? Hey. This is actually crazy. Chloe's in the UK, six degrees apparently, Chloe, yeah? Yeah, I mean, you can see I'm in a proper jacket on. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> And I'm in my office here in Australia. I got the legend Rhino who's going to be uh, running this live stream. And I got Shane and Jules here probably just to hammer me if my skills are not good enough. Um, but guys, this has been mad crazy. I just want to give you a rundown, Chloe. So this is obviously your screen that everyone can see. Uh, Rhino, if you can flick to the main camera for me. We have this camera here, guys which gives us a full view of the training session. So you can see I've got my four discs and obviously I'm going to bring my ball into play. And then when we're doing like difficult skills or difficult drill, it will flick to a close-up, Rhino. Oh my God. And this is what we're trying to do. This is something new. This will obviously show you a close-up of the skill as well. So uh, if you just flick back to the Chloe one there, Rhino. And that's how we're going to work it, Chloe. Um, technology these days, pretty much. It's crazy, sorry I don't have that, you know, just got my one camera uh, <laughs> in my dodgy backyard, but we'll be right. Love it. I can see on the screen where Rhino is, the live chat is going crazy, um, which I'll look at in a minute, but I suppose I just want to start by just chatting with you before we get into this training session. How's things with you in lockdown? Um, you know, what have you been doing to stay fit? Obviously, it's the situation there is worse than it is here in Sydney. Yeah, so I just guess how things with you at the minute, Chloe. Yeah, it's been a bit difficult. Um, I've been here for almost two months now, in complete lockdown. So everything from everything is closed down besides the the supermarket. So that's been a bit difficult. No football training. Only going outside for an hour, um, and all my housemates left. So I've been here by myself. Lucky I've had Mackenzie come over from America and give me some company, but yeah, it's, it's nice. been hard. I've only been training outside, doing individual stuff, but I was lucky enough to have 10 days off, which is unheard of in yeah. the football world, <laughs> um, just to give me a mental break so I can be recharged if the league does start again, then I'm ready to go back without wanting to kill anyone. Definitely, that's amazing. So basically me and you are going to show everyone that you know, even though we're not training on the pitch at the minute, you can still do a lot of stuff in a small space. Um, and I suppose that's what, what me and you are here for, just to give everyone a free training session to keep everyone going. Uh, guys, the way the session's gonna work is me and Chloe are pretty much gonna take the session. She'll do a drill, I'll do a drill, then we're all gonna do it together. Hopefully there's thousands of people around the world that are gonna do this training session. Pretty much only need four cones and a ball today. We normally do it with a rebounder club, but we're going to knock that out because we don't want to ruin your fence. <laughs> That's right. Uh, but again, there's still so much we can do. <laughs> what did you say then? Sorry to cut out. I don't, I don't want to wake the neighbours up at 7.30 in the morning. Oh, you're dead right. I keep forgetting that it's early there. Um, so, Chloe, I just wanted, just before we get into the... Uh, live stream just wanted to chat to you obviously me and you have done maybe I don't know 15 to 20 sessions and um, I just maybe wanted to ask you to, to maybe give our listeners and, and watchers a bit of an insight into how important you think it is to stay on top of your technical ability and, and do isolated training on your own you know I, I, I wanted to get your thoughts on what you think of the training yeah, for me, I sourced you purely because if you want to be the best, you have to train with the best. And you want to surround yourself with the people that know what they're doing. Um, so for me, it was the easy choice, choice to pick you. And, and I think over the last two years and the 15 sessions that we've had, and it sounds little, a little amount, but I'm only home for four, five months of the year um, sometimes. So we, we put in one, maybe two sessions. Uh, every week when I'm home, 
Yeah. Um, but you have helped me improve a lot. I think a lot of it was to do with a lot of confidence and being comfortable in front of goal and it proved in the grand final uh, last year when I needed it the most. And I think that was the biggest thing for me and, and taking my career as a semi-professional athlete to a professional athlete, that was the biggest change was outsourcing and getting the help that I needed outside of my own individual training sessions yeah, and my individual team training sessions, sorry. And I think that was the biggest thing that I learned and it has helped me tremendously. And if you want to be the best, you have to do more than what everyone else is doing. So you always need to be trying to be the best, even if it's 15 minutes a day. It's just chipping away because over time that thing would be something that's tremendous in your career. Yeah, that's that's a really, really good insight because, um, you know, I use you as an example all the time, Chloe, that, you know, with the players that I'm currently working with, that when I was coaching you, it was, you were so passionate in the sessions that it was, it would shine through, you know, you were so, so dedicated and passionate in the drills that you were doing. If you were making a mistake, you, you would get annoyed with yourself. You were just so passionate about it. So, um, that, that's something that Alyssa is going to get a lot out of. Anyway, without further ado, Chloe, you're amazing. I thank you so much for the kind words. Let's get ready for this training session, Chloe. Huh? All right, let me go, Jack. All right, let's go. This one, man. Is it battery low on this? Yeah. All right. I knew that would happen. Okay. That's the thing, that's back on. Yeah, it's back on. All right. Chloe, lovely setup. All right, Rhino, can you flick it to the main camera there? I'm going to go to the live chat, Chloe, just uh, sorry to keep you there, Cole. Guys, I'm on the live chat now. Um, we normally do this, Chloe, when we do our live sessions, so I want to know who is ready to train and who is training with me and Chloe today. Use the comment section now. Just let me know if you're ready to train, you've got your four cones, you've got your ball, and you're going to be training with me and Chloe. I'll also give you a quick shout out. Here we go. Charlie Downs, training. Hudson, ready to go. Stefanja, Haley's training. Any Matildas fans in the house, let me know. Loads. There's loads. Lovely. Chloe, we've got loads training here, loads. Emily the skeleton's training. I saw some people from Bristol, so I yeah. feel it, guys. 8 a.m., 6 degrees. Woo <laughs> Chloe, let's go on and let's see what you got. <laughs> Uh, Chloe, they don't need their cones. At, uh, we're going to do a simple warm up which I'll run. We normally do it in our live streams. Guys, what I want you to do, I can't believe there's so many people training, Chloe. Let's just up the stakes. Guys, up. let's drive the knees up. Let's get on the move because Chloe's cold there in the UK. I'm alright, mate, in Australia. Let's go heel flicks. Ah, oh, I wasn't for this one, Rhino. Get the live chat up there, Rhino. Let's go on the sides, guys, so you can move your cones out of the way. Two, one Aye. way, two the other. Two, one way, two the other. One, two, one, two. Just in a short space, low position. Let's go knee up and open out. We'll go four on each Chloe. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, let's close the, close the groins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Kicks in front. Always a little skip in between. What's the live chat, what's the live chat saying, lads? Everyone's warming up. There's a lot of Matildas in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Matildas are on. We're going to go a little ones across, Chloe. Just across. Just little ones across. And we normally leave like a minute at the end, Chloe, just for everyone to do their own stuff as well. Um, we obviously don't want to get injured. If you flick on that other screen right now, can you see Chloe here? Catch it high, guys. There's Chloe there. Catch it high. Oh, Ryan, what a guy. You're an upgrade of Shane Murray. <laughs> Shane Murray upgrade. 
<laughs> knee to chest close, so we'll grab our knee, extend it up, little skip. So we're always on the move, guys. So we do our stretch and then we'll just little skip in between. As you can see, Chloe in the screen there. You always want to feel it. What we're going to do now, just before we get into a few dynamics, we're going to go a little bit. We're going to go 10 seconds at about 60%, guys, on the spot. Ready? Let's go. Just 10 seconds on the spot. Get the elbows through. Everything on the toes, just so we can get the heart rate up. Three, two, one, rest. From there, what we're going to do, guys, is four lunges on each leg. So down, nice and slow, little skip. Right side, little skip. Left side, right side. Can't wait to be getting to the skills and Rhino just flicks it to that close up. <laughs> Nice guys, warm up is so easy, also boring, but it's got to be done, hasn't it, Chloe? What you say, Liz? Warm ups are boring, but it's got to be done. Got to be done, 100%. Guys, what we're going to do now is we're going to drive the knees, like we're going to start increasing the speed, so we're going to drive the knees for 10 seconds as fast as we can, and then we're going to work on the sides as fast as we can, just to get the heart rate up, okay? Ready guys, 10 seconds of knees up, 3, 2, 1, play, come on drive the knees, drive the knees as fast as we can, let's go, keep working, 3, 2, 1, rest, I'm blowing already close. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Australia with you. I know, I'm, you're going to be way fitter than me on this training session, right. <laughs> Guys, 10 seconds on the side now as fast as we can. And then what we're gonna do, Chloe, is we'll just have a stretch, the, anything that we want, yeah? All right, 10 seconds, guys, on the sides. Three, two, one, put it. Just two one way to the other. Stay in that low position. Keep working and rest. Okay, guys. One thing that I recommend, Cole, because we've been doing these, um, myself, Jules and Shane have been doing these live streams for like three, four weeks now, is definitely stretch out the calves because we're going to be working in such a small area. So stretch out the calves, guys. And what we're going to do, we're going to, myself and Cole are going to give you one minute uh, to do what you need to do. One minute to do what you need to do. And then we're going to be on the speed and agility. Yeah, a little bit, Cole. Maybe, maybe flick into the stretches that Chloe's doing there, Ryan, or just so people maybe have a coffee. Is that the world's greatest? That's the world's greatest from Chloe there. 100%. Hey, Chloe, I do have a question. So whenever we're doing stuff, I might ask you questions. Uh, yep. Just whilst we're stretching, obviously. What's the difference yep. between um, the W League and the, the Women's Premier League that you're playing in? Is there, is there a difference? What's the difference between the Women's Premier League? Yeah, and the W League. Uh, everyone wants to kill each other over here. <laughs> you're tougher. Wow. Everyone wants to stick English, you know that, you're English. Yeah, you're dead right. Everyone wanted to kill Shane. <laughs> when, he was, when he was playing for Chef United. Yeah, that's really interesting because we've had a few people on our podcast say the same thing. That's, that's decent. Yeah. Uh, what about like the football side then? Is there a difference with like technical or tactical side of the game? I think um, in Australia it's still very much so looked at as a semi-professional league where over here the infrastructures are set in place from the EPL and it's getting a lot better. Um, so it's more perceived as more professional. People take it 10 times more serious. Yeah, right. So I think the step itself is just a, a lot higher. Wow, wow. Guys, I hope on the live chat you listen to this. Fantastic. Love it. All right, Chloe, I'm ready it, it, when you are. All right, perfect. Let's go. All right, I'll start us off, Chloe, and then you can come in on the second drill, okay? All right. All right, I'm going to start straight off the bat with just one cone, Chloe. So, Rhino, uh, we can use the close up on this one. Do you want to flick to the close-up? Guys, we're just going to work on some balance work to start off with. Okay, we're going to do some single leg balance work. A Shane Murray classic, as we would say. All right, 
Single leg Chloe and all we're going to do is jump and land and we're just going to work for 10 seconds over that one disc. It's quite a bit of a burn but we work on the ex explosive power as well. Okay? Hey, so cool. Sorry? So hey. Alright Chloe, we'll go right leg first, ready? 10 seconds, 3, 2, 1, play! So start, everyone start with their right leg. If you want, you can do double hop, but ideally we want it to be single hop. Shane Murray starts. We'll have a 10 second rest for you and then we'll go to the left side. Hopefully you're not as cold now in the sunny, in the sunny UK. I'm warming up, I'm warming up. Left leg, call you ready? Three, two, yep. one, play. Let's go, single leg jumps. Keep a slight bend in your knee. Three, two, one, rest. Shush. All right, Chloe, we're over to you. Second drill, but we'll have a 30 second rest. Perfect, all right. So for the second drill, kind of same concept. We're gonna need two cones, one 30 centimeters away from the other. Yeah, I like how you can the distance. Focus on knee prevention um, and stability work. So all we're gonna do is jump from the outside of your foot and land on the other cone, making sure that your knee is stable and straight over your toes. You're just gonna jump and hop and stick. Love it. Hop. Great technique, Chloe, love it. All right, how long are we working for, Chloe? Say again? How long do you want to work for, 15 seconds on this one? 15 seconds, yeah. You All should right. get about eight, eight to 10. Yeah, I love that. Seven. All right, Chloe, do you want me to count everyone in? Count us in, Lee. All right, three, two, one, play. Nice and controlled on that landing. If you can, try and get nice and high. Oh, I'm flying here. I'm flying. <laughs> five seconds, five seconds. Need a Solomon. Oi, stability is phenomenal. Three, two, one, rest. Toss that off at the end. Second set, Chloe, yeah, we'll go again. We'll go again. I like that one, Paul. I like that one. All right, you ready, guys? Right now, I think you're doing a phenomenal job, mate, on the uh, on the broadcast. <laughs> Maybe we should start a TV channel. Three, two, one, play! Nice and controlled, guys. Land soft, land soft. Bend your knees, chest forward. Get to the outside of your disc. How's my balance there, Rhino? Four seconds, guys, come on. to me. Right now if you want to flip to the third one. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to combine quick feet with a bit of balance work pretty similar to what Chloe did. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then explode. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, across. Okay, so what I want you to do now is two steps in each gap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then you jump with your right foot. Work your feet again, and then you're gonna jump with your left foot, okay? Woo. Difficult one, guys. So there's, a, there's an element of speed in here, and there's an element of balance and explosive work, okay? What we're gonna do, Chloe, we're gonna up the work right now. 20 seconds we're gonna work for, okay? Perfect. All right, low position to start off with, Good balance is key. Everything done on your toes when we're working our quick feet. Three, two, one, play. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Land. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Land. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Land. Keep working. Come on, we're up. Five seconds to go. Let's go. Three, two, one, rest. We'll go second set guys, what we're going to do is 20 second rest and we go again. For me, Chloe, just whilst we're having a rest, for everyone that's training, you should be doing this at 100% if you're obviously fit and healthy. 
If you want to get something out of these sessions, if you want to really push yourself, you should be working as hard as you can, obviously with good technique though. You've got to obviously have good technique, so listen to the detail that me and Chloe are giving because you don't want to be training hard but the wrong technique. So good technique, but you should be working really hard, guys, and trust me, at the end of the session, you should be dying. All right, second set. Second set, low position on your toes. Three, two, one, play. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lance off. Try and jump nice and high on this set. Let's jump nice and high. Work on, oh, red. Work on explosive power. Three, two, one. Rest. Chloe. Well done, Chloe. Well done. Chloe, you're on the th uh, fourth, fourth drill. I'm on the first four drill. Eh? No, you're on the. We've got one more speed and agility exercise, which is you. Coming to you. Alright, perfect. Next speed and agility. It's all about moving your feet. Two cones starting at one side, forwards and backwards. Pretty simple. Oh, just a figure it. eight. Love it. Guys, just whilst we're resting, I forgot to say, Chloe, which is poor of me, um, I've left a link below for you to go and subscribe to Chloe's YouTube channel. Chloe, I believe you've started a new YouTube channel. Is that correct? That is correct. I've wanted to do it for a long time. I really wanted to start it in the 2016 Olympics and the lead up to that, but I didn't really have time. So now that the Olympics is postponed for 2021, I think now is the perfect time. Yeah. So if you want to watch my lead up to it, all my training sessions, I promise I will get better at filming and <laughs> editing, but a lot of fun. And it's just real life stuff, honestly. It's about being an elite athlete, breaking down stereotypes as well as empowering people Amazing. to want to be their best no matter what it looks like. Legend. Guys, I've put the uh, link for Chloe's YouTube channel in the description. It's there right now. So if you're on the live chat, just go and give it a subscribe, guys. It takes one second. And don't worry about filming, Chloe. I've had Shane working for me for six years. Still still doesn't do it very well. <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't worry about it. Right, but he's an unbelievable coach, and that's all that matters, you know what I mean? Right, Chloe, full set. Here we go. How long are we working for, Chloe? This should be 100%, so go 15 seconds. Oh my god, alright, Shaz. Ryan, I'll get a close up of my feet here, I'm gonna be on fire. Three, <laughs> two, one, play! Yeah, Shaz, what's your feet? These? Come on! Short step, short step. Come on, guys, work. Oh, we've got five seconds to go, Chloe. I'm glad that you went 15, because I'm blowing. <laughs> Rest! Oh, that's a real leg burner, that club. Oh, you drain on. Yeah? You know, maybe my five. How many cigarettes can you get? Oh, so a competition now. 100%. Anyone uh, that's on live, put in the description how many you put. Okay, I like that. People, people are saying they're subscribing to your channel, Chloe, you now. Oh, Shane said they're sub subscribing to your channel now, club. Hey. Shane, you know, I'm. Chloe, I've just had a Charlie's chicken, it's not fair. <laughs> right, I'll count how many I do, Chloe, right, and you count how many yours do, don't cheat. Boys, keep an eye on Jonah. Yeah, don't, don't worry. Cheat. Don't worry, we're on it. <laughs> right, you ready, Chloe? 15 seconds, yeah? Yeah. As Shane would say, three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh, look at the feet, Chas. <laughs> Four seconds, go on, burn it! Rest! 14? I got 14 and a half. 14? Four eight. Hey, how many did you get? Wait, did you count? Oh no, I said only one. seven. I like seven. Oh, like seven. Seven full ones then, yeah, Shane? Yeah. I got eight. Oh, of course <laughs> you did. Of course you did. <laughs> That's alright, I'll bash out five now. <laughs> There's no shooting here. Yeah, I know. Shock, you got eight. You got a... You, oh, the numbers here, Chloe. Sixteen. Sixteen in fifteen seconds. 
Come on! Man. Everyone's counting the single oh, ones. Bro. Yeah, I think it's, you gotta go double. God's sake. Yeah, gotta get double one whole loop. Yeah. Chloe, we're gonna yeah. get, we're gonna send everyone for a drink. So guys, get a quick drink. Jules, if you get me a drink of water, because I'm dying. Lane is a breather. Ah. Yeah, if you get a drink, guys, and when you come back, we're gonna be on the football, okay? You know, I can't play, yes. <laughs> All right. Where's my football? No, you're gonna here. Just have some coke, bro. No, no, no. You're gonna do a coke there. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, th this is what we normally do with our live streams. Yeah, I'm just coming to the chat. Um, let me know who's ready to go. Who's still with me and Chloe? Are you still with us? Let us know in the live chat. Are you ready to go? We're gonna bring the football out now, guys. Nate Deal Double G is in the house. Robert Ramos, what a guy. Luke Liver. Joel Gardner in the house. I hope you're training, Joel. Football skills. Charlie Downs. William Rob. Oh, there's loads training, Chloe. Loads. Holy Perfect. shit. Perfect. It's How amazing. Yeah, we're, we're flying. Okay. Chloe, we're going to go. Oh, we're going to go same. Yeah. We're going to go same concept, Chloe. Right? I'll start us off, then you, then me, then you. And um, you can go as easy or as hard as you want, Chloe, okay? I'm going to start off really, really easy just to ease our players into it. And then maybe on my fourth and fifth one, I'm going to make it really hard. So I'll start off on the full screen right now and then I might go like close up, okay? Chloe, the first one that we're going to do is we're going to use one cone and we're going to do what I call a V-snap. So sole of your foot, right foot, drag it back inside, switch to your left. One, two, one, two. And all you gotta do is just use your cone as a reference. If you go onto the close camera there for me, Rhino, if you use the cone as a reference to get it from one side to the other, it's really, really simple. Guys that are at an advanced level, I want you to look forward. Don't look at the ball. For people that are maybe not at their advanced level, just try and get the pattern and then slowly uh, try and increase your feet as we as we get as you get it, okay? Probably we're gonna work for 20 seconds, okay? Perfect. So for you, Claw, I want you to try and look forwards all the time. That's your little challenge. Maybe on the second one we'll have a competition club. Alright. <laughs> but you're answering first on that one. <laughs> okay guys. <laughs> Three, two. One, play! Let's go guys, keep the ball close, turn your hips, sole inside. Let's go! Nice, nice. What does Chloe look like? She's smashing it. Let's go, five seconds guys, five seconds! I'm flying. Three, two, one, rest. Let's get a 30 second rest and we go again. Holy smokes, my fitness is miles off it. I just find that one, Claude. It was good. Try to keep my head up. Always think there's an iPad around, but. Yeah, seven red. Start shouting out, seven red. Okay. Claude, a little competition, yeah? And let's have a competition with everyone on the live chat. How many can you do? Right. If you make a mistake, you must go back down to zero. So if you hit your cone or you mess up with the ball, you must go back down to zero and your highest score is what will count at the end of the 20 seconds, okay? I've got Shane here counting mine, so I can't cheat. Ready, Chloe? Up. Very good. It's one nil to you, bro. I'm going to bring it back. Three, two, one, play! Chaz, you counting? Go on, Chaz. <laughs> Five seconds to go. Chloe, it's one all. I'm on fire. <laughs> go, rest there. Oh, Chloe. I was on fire. How many, Chloe? I got 30. Are we counting each foot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Shaz, how many? They got 24. Woo! Oh. Come on. Five push ups, Chloe. Come on! I'm so competitive, sorry guys. <laughs> Alright. 
Chloe Legazzo on the second drill, what are we doing? Rhino flips right. it to the screen. Same thing, one point. Pull back, drag behind. Oh. In front. Nice. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, yes. This a bit of me as well, Chloe. One, two, three. I one, like that one for myself. Yeah, I like it. This is actually a little bit harder, Chloe, yeah? Yeah. All right. Guys, coaching points for this one. Stay low, stay light, and definitely build your way into it. Okay, start off slow and try and increase your speed, okay? Ryan, I don't know if you want to go on the zoom there just so everyone can see. All right, what you want to try and avoid here is that it's not hitting your standing foot. So you don't want it hitting that foot. It's got to go further enough back to then adjust and then play. I like this one, Chloe. You ready, guys? I Go in on the guys I was there, we'll put Chloe under a bit of pressure. 20 seconds. Chloe, it's on the whole screen. You ready guys? Uh, 20 seconds, Chloe. Yeah? Uh, As Shane would say, three, two, one, play. Oh ref. Oh ref. Oh, good, good, good. Just starting to get it there. Just, just build it into it. Guys, you will make mistakes on this one. Trying your best just to get straight back into it. Living your mistakes. Let's go. We're going to go for 25, Paul. I've changed it. Three seconds. Come on, come on. Two, one, rest. How many mistakes, Corey, did you make? One, literally the ball rolled all the way up the screen. <laughs> oh, fantastic. I made one mistake as well. Like I yeah, said. Guys, the about mistakes is that they do happen, don't worry about it, don't beat yourself up about it. Yeah. You need to make sure that you keep persevering because in a game the most important thing is if you lose the ball, it's not about losing it because that will happen, it's about gaining it back as quick as possible. 100%. Can you tell Jules that? Gives the ball away all the time and doesn't want to get it back. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a match. <laughs> Okay, Chloe, we'll go for 30 seconds on this on, on this set, Chloe, it's a little bit harder, yeah? Okay, 30 seconds, guys. Try not to make any mistakes, and for everyone that finds this easy, do it without looking at the ball, okay? Three, two, one, play. Go close up on my feet right now, because I'm just going to bring the fire on this one. Cooking. Right. It's what Rex and teach me on me. Oh no, I've lost it. Last five seconds. Yeah, I like it, Shane. I like it. Oh no. <laughs> Three, two, one. Rest. Wow, guys. That's such a blow. Shane, thanks for calling me in. Okay, I'm up, Chloe. I'm up. I'm going to up the ante, guys. You need two cones. Also, obviously, get a breather because. It's tough work, isn't it, Club? Yeah. Well, you are not, I'm guessing. Just leave off, it's getting hot up. I know. Right, two columns, guys. Uh, can you see there, Chloe? Obviously, you're, I've just all tackled myself, yellow card. Yeah. Uh, all right. And can everyone see on the live stream? Here we go. All right. A lot harder than our uh, Chloe Logazzo. Okay. This one's a lot about touch and it's also about balance. So we're going to start on the left hand side of your first disc and put your right foot on the ball. We're going to go sole, sole, outside, inside, sole, outside, inside, switch up. Sole, outside, inside, sole, outside, inside. So you've got to get that touch through the middle of the gap. Go on the close up for me there, Rhino. So I can just show you if I'm really close. Alright, so notice when I'm working with my right foot, I don't actually put it down. And then when I work with my left foot, it doesn't come down as well. So we're developing balance as well as touch. Ah, oh, I've lost it. So you can see there on my weak foot that I might go. Did you get that one, Chloe? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, because this is on one leg a lot, Chloe, we're only going to go for 20 seconds. It's quite hard. Okay. Okay, guys. So again, start off slow and then build your way into it. Ready? Three, two, one, play. I might go quiet on this one because I'm concentrating. Soul, outside, inside. 20 seconds, yeah? Yeah. 
I've got it on the phone, but Shaz can do the time because I was out in the water. Halfway there. I might get Jules to do the left foot demonstration on the next one. Five, four, three. Love it, Shane. Two. One. Rest. How did you find that one, Claude? It was good, besides the fact that I just kicked the ball away on the last one. Ah. Hey, hey, come on, it's got to be better from you. 100%. Alright guys, we are 20 seconds rest and we go again. I love these drills, they're hard. What are we going to do, Chloe? We'll do one more set after this with you. Yep. Drinks break. And then we'll answer one question from the live chat. And then we'll go back into the training session. Sounds good. Right, here we go guys. Second set. Three, two, one, play. One, two, three, one, two, three. Switch. One, two, three, one, two, three. Focus on good technique, guys. This one's a little bit harder. Let's go. Let's work. Like it, Chloe. You're flying. I'm just stopping there to have a look. Keep working. Come on. Three, two, one. Rest. Okay, we'll go. 40, 50 second rest. That last one again, Stone. Hey, I've seen that, Chloe. Okay. Yeah, I am. Chloe, you're on the floor. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Chloe, you're on the fourth drill. Okay, perfect. So, two cones again. We're going to go with the inside foot. A touch with the outside. Stop. Roll. Up. Oh, I like it. Oh, uh, this is a Lee Jonah Jones special. Should, should we have a competition on this one, Claude? On the second one? Alright. Yeah, come on, the Jonah crew. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Alright, guys, I love this one. The same coaching points is pretty much the same. Get low, light, build into it, get your speed, and then if you're really good, do it without looking at the ball. Ready, Chloe? How long do you want to go for on this one, Claude? We'll go the same way. 20 seconds? 20 seconds. Okay. Two more sets, guys, then we're going to get a drink, and then you're going to ask Chloe a question. Three, two, one, play! Ten seconds to go. Oh, no, Rhino, I was on fire as well. I was on fire, Rhino. Five. Four, three, two, one. Woo! Well done, Chloe. Great work. Oh, I fancy Chloe this one. You fancy Chloe oh. this one? Okay. Guys, place your bets now. Place your bets. Leave John and John on Chloe Evans. <laughs> I'm gonna go ten dollars on Jonah. I messed up there. Right now, what are the people saying? Who? Who's going to win this one, Chloe or Jonah? Let's go, comment section. Come on. Cheers, Come on, team. Gazo. Yeah. Chloe. Everyone's saying Chloe, aren't they? They're aging. <laughs> <laughs> They're aging. The, the things I do. I'm the things I, I do. I'm this. The things I do for my fans. All right. Join on. That's sad. <laughs> Come yeah. on. So, Jules, Jules, Jules. Kenny, go up, boys, I'm going, I mean. Come on, come on, boy. Kenny, Kenny, is Kenny there, Claude? Is Kenny what? Is she there? Yeah, it's fine. Kenny, can you count how many Claude he gets? Because I think she's cheating. Yeah, it's fine. Right, let's go. Shane, you count mine. Join is on this one, right? Yeah, yeah. Come on. Right, ready, Claude? Three. 20 yeah. seconds, yeah? Yeah, 20 seconds. Three, two, one, play. That was so messy. Chaz, you're gonna give that one to me or what? Five seconds to go. Four, three, two, one. Rest there. Are you giving that one to me, Shane? We'll see you in a minute. How many was that? Don't get many. 
I want to I hit. No, I want to hit. Go on. Shane, I'll go first, Chloe. How many did I get, Shane? 16. 16, come on! I got 16 as well. Oh! <laughs> I'm generous as well, you know. Oi, <laughs> I've got a generous judge over here that I got absolutely tackled by the rebounder. <laughs> oh! <laughs> right, guys. Grab a drink and get your questions in now. I'll pick the best one. Grab a drink. Ask Chloe a question. You've got one minute to think of a good question, otherwise we can't answer it. Yeah. Let's so go, great. guys. Joel Gardner, don't be saying head down and all this. Joel Gardner, that's a good question. Joel, stop commenting. Oh, Focus on the session. Chloe, I've got the question I want to ask you. All right. It's from Noah G. It's yeah. From, yeah. It says, Chloe. What do you think is the most important attribute needed to become a Matilda? Um, for me, I think the biggest attribute is... <clears throat> see, skill can get you so far because you can practice your skill every single day and you will get better, but it is all about your attitude. So your willingness to turn up to every single training session and want to be the best that's what's going to get you to the Matildas because if you do not have that, you will not survive. Wow. You that's, want to be, to be the best. That's really good. That's I love that. the mindset thing. I reckon we've got time um, for one more. For one more. Um, do you want to pick it? Can you see the questions there, Club? Yep. Do you want um, you pick the next one? Let me see. Luca? Yeah, go on, Luca. Uh, Chloe, how do you face rejection? Ooh. For me, I, fa I faced rejection a lot growing up. I was told that I wasn't good enough, that I was never going to be in the position that I am today because I was really small. I was easily pushed off the ball, but the biggest thing for me was I was persistent. I always made sure that I tried as hard as I could and I trusted the process of what I was doing. So. I always thought that if I kept doing what I was doing, that it was going to pay off sometime. It wasn't going to pay off in a week or in a year. It might pay off in five years. And for me, that was what happened. I just kept chipping away at what I wanted to do. And slowly and surely, I was finally rewarded for all the hard work that happened. So resilience is a massive thing of mine, being able to bounce back from anything, but just having faith in what I was doing and really knowing my own work. Yeah, that's amazing. Guys, I don't know what more you want from us as a YouTube channel, Shane. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I don't know what more we can do. Guys, Chloe, you, we don't want to get cold. Let's keep this rolling. That's amazing. Guys, we will uh, answer more questions at the end, so stick around. We don't want everyone to go cold. Unbelievable insight there from an international female player. We're going to crack on, though. Is it my, Is it me, Clog? Yeah, it's me, isn't it? It's me. <clears throat> right, what we're going to do, Chloe, is create a rectangle um, like this. Uh, the distance, the distance is, depending on how big your cones are, but pretty much like two shoe sizes there. Can you see? Yep. Left my joke. Okay. And the, the cones can be like, just create a rectangle. So mine are like obviously circle discs but you can have them really close yep. together. Okay, Chloe, I'm gonna challenge you here. This one's not easy, all right? I might get Rhino to zoom in on the short one as well for the YouTube. I'll go really slow. You're gonna go so outside, and then you're gonna do a reverse L shape, and then drag, touch back up to the opposite side. So outside, L shape, drag back, touch up, and a little bit of a quicker speed, it looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Woo! Okay. So we're gonna go, we're going to another level there, guys. Normally when we make the skills harder, we go for longer so you can figure it out. So uh Cold Shane will go for 30 seconds on the clock with this one. Did you get that one, Club? Yeah. Okay. This one's a little bit harder. 
30 seconds on the clock. Yep. Three, two, one, play. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. Oh. Soul outside L shape, drag touch. Soul outside L shape, drag touch. Halfway there, 15 seconds to go. Cheers, Shane. Cheers, Shane. All oh, right. No mistakes, guys. You've got to get it to the top of your cone. Get it back to the top of your cone. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, Globe. How'd you find that one? It was good. Like it. I'm struggling to get it to the top of the cone. I have to make sure that I'm pushing the ball out yeah. in front of me before I catch it again. Yeah, there's a reason why we do that because it forces you to adjust your feet quicker as well. So you have to force yourself to move your feet quicker. All right, second set. Second set. This one's a little bit harder, so we're not going to put a competition on it. We want you to actually really focus on this one. And then I'm coming to you, Legazzo, for the next skill. All right. Okay, last one. 30 seconds on the clock. Three, two, one, play. Count the steps. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Soul, outside, soul, inside, soul, inside. Halfway there. Yeah, halfway, guys, come on. Right, now go close up. I'm on cheese. I'm on cheese. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Rest. Rest there, wow. Holy smokes. Stay on the move, guys. 30, 40 second rest. We're in with Logazo, if you can go on that one there, Lionel. Alright, let me think. Um, Alright, we'll go. Last one for you. Inside the foot, again, we're going to drag back. Use the outside of your foot to push the ball across. Stop, across again. Oh, double in the S there. Love it. Oh yeah. I like it. In fact, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder why. Because I guess it's really Iniesta, good. Iniesta. So did you say drive with your right foot here, Chloe? Yeah, right foot first and then Iniesta, Iniesta, and then drive yeah. with the left. Right foot, right. then left. Oh, this like, is the light foot. That's easy. Come on. Come on! Chloe, how long are we going for? This one will really get your heart rate up, so if this is going to be my last one, let's do 30 seconds. Oh, we have, should we have a competition on the second one as well? Come on! <laughs> right, 30 seconds on the clock, Coach Jane. Yep. Three, two, one, play! Iniesta, Iniesta, boom. Iniesta, Iniesta, boom. Clarify, you know. Alright. 
You gotta get to the top call, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Top. Uh, Jules, can you keep an eye on Chloe's screen there? Because I feel like she's cheating. <laughs> okay! What are we on? 20 seconds? 30, 30. 30. 30. Shame from our club. 3, <laughs> 2, 1, play! There's one. There's two. There's three. I've lost it. Wait! Can you go on the close up there, Ryan? Uh, okay. So it looks like this on a close up, alright? Double sole touch. One, two, three. Notice how I've moved my body there. L shape across. Sole touch up to the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lost it there. Double sole touch, outside, L shape, drag, touch. One, two, three, four, five, Travel. six, seven. Travel. Oh, have I done Chloe? Chloe's in trouble. Chloe's in trouble. This is going to take, look, this is going to take like three hours. Let's give it a go. Can you see it on the YouTube screen, Chloe? I tried zooming in for you. Try to what? I tried getting the zoom in angle for you on the YouTube because I know you can only see it on the zoom. Yeah. Okay. You ready, Chloe? What we're going to do, it's not easy. We're going to go for 40 seconds because it's the last one and it is harder, so you're going to need a bit more time to get it. Bear in mind, guys, I've been doing this type of stuff for four weeks on the bounce now, me, Jules, and Shane. 
If you want to see Shane's left foot, just get on the private, uh, Jules's left foot, get on the private live stream. <laughs> okay guys, My feet are unreal, then. 40 seconds on the clock. Listen, you've got to test yourself. If you can't do it, don't stress. Guess what? You're going to have time after this live stream to get even more practice in. That's what, that's what we do, okay? Ready guys, 40 seconds, 3, 2, 1, play. Touch, touch, outside, L shape, back up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Fake pass. Boom, boom, seven. Play, yeah. Touch, go. Easy. Boom. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Get a close up there, Ryan. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Fake pass. One, two, five seconds six, to go. Five, six, seven. Four. Fake pass. Three. One, two, three, four, two. Five, six, one. Woo! <laughs> oh, how'd you find that one, Claude? It was good, it's about struggle to get my left foot to push the ball aside and catch it um, in time. Really need to work out the timing of it. So yeah. I'll definitely be doing this after this session. For me as a coach, like Han Shane and Jules, we have to stay on top of this stuff as well, you know? This stuff. Alright, last one guys, 40 seconds, let's go. Is this the designer? Oh! It is. I'll be throwing it. Uh, all right, all right, Chloe, the, the rules are you got to get them in a row without making a mistake. So if you make one okay. mistake, so you can go slow, you might win, or you can go fast okay. and take it more. Oh. I'll take that on that, Shannon. Sorry, guys, we haven't got subtitles for Shane. Um, <laughs> but hopefully. It's always the same uh, jokes, bro. Uh, yeah. Bad yeah. <laughs> <Nine> jokes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Chloe, listen, last set, guys. Put it in, and then we will do a Q and A to finish, Chloe. That's good. Yeah, you're a legend. Thank you for your time. Let's go, guys. Ready? Just All right. <clears throat> forty seconds. Three. Forty seconds. Uh, forty seconds, Charles. Yeah. All right, we count them. Yeah, you count mine, Shane. If I go over the disc, I want you to be a harsh judge on this yeah, one. Yeah, no, I don't mind it. <laughs> All right. Three, two, one, play. Oh, you're smashing the fair. I've got to be full concentration head on. Halfway there. Hello. I'm back down to zero, Shaz. But we keep going, you know. Oh, I've got to win. Yes. Last 10 seconds. Yes. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest there. Oh. <laughs> I'm dying, Club. I shouldn't have had that Charlie's chicken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Shane. Chloe, how did you go on that one? I got six consecutive. I stuffed one up with my left foot. I like it. Um, but I definitely improved, which is good. So yeah. I'm going to keep working. Hey, I want to see you do more, Chloe, after the live stream. Oh. Hey, you got 11, Chloe. I did. I smashed that one. Come on, Coach Jonah! <laughs> Alright, um, what I want to see here, Rhino, um, ooh, how can I get. That's okay, I can come. No, I just did that. Chloe, you ready for a bit of a QA to finish? Alright. Thank you so much for your time, Chloe, you're an absolute star. Maybe if I come in the screen here. No, it doesn't work. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll pick the first one. Now, oh wow, how good's that one from? Uh, is that em Emily? Amelia? Amelia? Emily uh, uh, L? Is that right? Amelia. No. Amelia? How was, how was my reading? Chloe, are you ready for this one? Yep. This is a good one. How do you get yourself in the right headspace when you maybe aren't mentally feeling the best? Wow. That's a good one. Um, if I'm not mentally feeling the best, it usually comes down to the fact that I haven't prepared myself properly. And that doesn't happen very often. I always make sure that I'm in, in top shape, ready to do what I want to do when I'm playing for the national team. But it's not always the case, right? So 
you might wake up and you're not feeling uh, ready for the game or you're nervous or whatever. I think my biggest thing to get myself back into the right mental state, state is I do everything the same. So I wouldn't say it's superstitious, but it's the fact that I have a certain process and I like to follow it. And yeah. when it's game day, I only do this process on game day. I make sure that my bed is made because when I wake up in the morning, <laughs> it's the first thing I do so I'm productive in the morning and it makes me want to complete another task. The second thing I do when I'm getting ready for a national team game is I fold all my clothes and I put them on the bed, wow. making sure that I have everything that I need, like my toiletry bag, my shin pads, my boots, extra clothes, just the essential stuff. Then when I get to the game, I unload everything and make sure everything's in the right place. And I feel like that is the biggest thing to get me mentally ready for a game. And it's all about just having these processes. And then once you have these processes, your mind kind of just takes you to this place where you've been a million times before and it's easy. And you just switch on to that current moment and nothing else really matters. Wow, that's really interesting. I like that. I might adopt that. Do you want to flick it to my screen, Rhino? The main one. Um, Chloe, do you want to pick the next question? Sure. We can see it in the background there too. We can flick it on and off. I like it. Pick a, pick a good Estella, one. Chloe. Estella Cameron, who has the best work ethic in the Matildas? Ooh. I feel like, oh no, we got 10%. Yeah, we're good, we're good. We're good. I heard. That's all right. Um, I feel like everyone in our national team has the has work ethic. I feel like you need it when, when you're there. But if I was to pick someone, um, it would probably be... Oh, it's hard to pick. Uh, it would probably be Steph Catley. Oh, I like Steph Catley. What a baller. What a baller. What a ball. Right, I'm on the next one. Guys, we've got two more left. Two more questions left before Chloe. I've had those. Uh, wow. Did <laughs> Jasper Payton really wants to get this question across. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, it's just, that's a simple answer. He's put, how much training a week do you need to do to become a professional? I mean, there's a fine line between um, doing not enough and doing too much, right? Because football is such a strain on your body and I feel like this is the biggest thing that I battle with uh, when I'm home in Australia because I have such a great network. Um, I have Jonah and I also have my own SNC gym guy, um, Edge Performance. And yeah, more guy, Edge. I also have whatever training I have when I'm at home. So it's a fine line between training too much, which is, I think, what I do because I just enjoy being in the hurt locker and I enjoy trying to improve. But I think if you chip away at it every single day, if you work on your skills like this for 15 minutes, um, or 20 minutes every single day, that's not going to harm you, it's only going to get you better. And then ha having four hard training sessions with your team and uh, two gym sessions. Yeah, right. A week. I like it. I mean, that's, that's a, that question comes up a lot. You know, my advice always to my players is train until, until it becomes second nature. So if you can't do something, you know, you need to continue at it. That could be our iPad gone, yeah? That could be Chloe gone. Are you still there, Chloe? Yeah, I'm gonna move you inside so I can keep you. Yeah, I like it, uh, So I can keep you here. Yeah, I was Put just you on chuck. I was just saying that what what yeah. myself, Jules and Shane give advice to our young players if if you're struggling with a certain technique or you're struggling to pick something up, you've got to yeah. keep chipping away at that until it becomes second nature and you know, practice until you get it right pretty much and it's a, it's a difficult question, but you've got to also listen to your body sometimes if you're struggling and you're sore and you, you should give yourself a rest. But for me, when I was a kid, I'd train all the time, every day. Just, you know, you've got to love it, haven't you? You've got to love it. <clears throat> all right, two more questions for Logazo. Yo. Um, all righty. You choose the next one. Don't, don't go Messi or Ronaldo. We're not here for that. Yeah, yeah there's so many of them. Madeline Caspers, oh, what did she ask? I love Madeline, I coach Madeline. How do you deal um, with distress? Oh, oh, yeah, we answered that one before, yeah? Oh, no, yeah. it's not, no, we never. Ooh, that's a good uh, one. How, how do I deal with them, or what? Stress of all your expectations. That's a great question. That is a great question. I feel like uh, that's a hard one as well because I wasn't so successful dealing with my stresses and my expectations. 
I, uh, if you guys don't know my journey, um, I actually gave up football when I was 18 years old. I oh. started my semi-professional career when I was 17 and I did really well. We won a W League championship uh, my first year in and then the second year I went overseas to America. I played over in a second division team over there when I was 18. Uh, I lived away from home and I did amazing. I scored the most goals that I've ever scored in my career in such a short period of time. I won Rookie of the Year while I was over there. Uh, over there. I was the first Australian to do it. Um, a couple of our national team players had been over there, so that was a really massive thing for me. And when I came home, I was expected to do so well. I was expected to smash out the W League and perform. When I got back, I actually did so bad. I, my attitude was really, really poor when I got there because I got a big head. And then I didn't play. I probably played maybe four or five games that whole entire season. And I probably played a total of like, I'm going to say 200 minutes, which is ridiculous. And I didn't deal with the expectations well and I, get, and I gave soccer up. And I didn't make the World Cup team as well. So, so I decided that I was going to walk away from the game. I went and traveled for two months. I traveled to five countries and I just had a lot of fun. And then I came back to soccer and I decided that that, time away from me was probably the best thing that could have happened to me because it made me a lot mentally stronger because yeah. I realized that football was exactly what I wanted to do and I wasn't going to give it up. So I decided that no matter what was thrown at me, no matter what expectations other people had, I had set my own standards. And if I didn't meet my own standards, then I was disappointed. And I always try as hard as I possibly can. So it's hard for me not to be happy with my performance because I know that I've tried as hard as I could. Wow, I didn't know that. I didn't know you stopped playing at 18. That's, that's Yeah, that's really I uh, cool. worked as a landscaper. I worked six days a week from no 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Um, I had a lot of fun while I did it. And I think it was a big part of me of why I am who I am today because I really appreciate the sport for what it's given me. A lot of us have given up a lot of our time as young athletes to be the best that we possibly can, to strive to be the best. And back when I was younger, it was a lot harder to be able to aspire to be a female footballer. But now these days, I think it's incredible to be a part of what has been a tremendous four years for the women's game in Australia, to be able yeah. to see it being almost equal pay um, to the men's and getting what we can to be elite athletes as young athletes. And you know this, Jonah, you've worked with Lee Blaney, and you've seen the programs and you've seen the support for the girls and I think it's just gone above and beyond in the last few years. So yeah, yeah, yeah. if you're wanting to be a Matilda and you're watching this, keep training because I'm telling you it's worth it. You have the most fun that you've ever done. I'm 25 years old and I've traveled to 32 countries and I've played in half of those. So it is an incredible lifestyle. You get to hang out with your friends and be the best version of yourself. Yeah, I love that club. You're an absolute legend. Uh, uh, I'm going to end it there. I'm dying. I need a shower club after that session. <laughs> um, I just want to thank you for your time. Uh, you know, what you're giving to our listeners and all young athletes, especially aspiring female athletes, is just is so valuable. I honestly don't know what more I can do for my fans, to be honest with you, Chloe. You know, uh, you know how <laughs> many um, But... Uh, also, guys, just one quick reminder, if you're still with us, please click that li uh, the link in my description to subscribe to Chloe's channel. Uh, there's an even more of an insight. I've been watching her videos. There's an even more of an insight of her journey, what she gets up to as a professional footballer. You've got to go. You, this is stuff that you can't really get. And if a professional footballer is giving you that, you need to go and watch it and, and learn from it. So the link is in my description for you to subscribe to Chloe's channel. Uh, and let's do this again, uh, Chloe. Yeah, we should definitely do this again. Get her on the podcast. Uh, Shane said, "Get her on the podcast. Head head of podcast." Shane, I think that's a great idea. I'd love to. Yeah. Oh, sounds yeah, sounds, yeah, sounds yeah, like next couple of weeks, Chloe. Yeah. Shane, I'll get I'll get head of podcast to email you, Chloe. <laughs> the proposition. Because <laughs> you sound like you've got an interesting journey, which would again be valuable for our listeners. Amazing. Can't wait to tell it. All right, guys. Thank you. You're, a, you're a legend, Chloe. Thank you so much. All right, ciao. See you, Chloe. Speak to you again.